Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and a new video on the Citroen C3. So guys, you know we wanted to collect all of the parts for this one before we moved on with a video. We are still waiting for that wing to come in, but you would have seen a bit of action has been happening in the background. Liam just popped in there and fitted that nice new windscreen. Now that passenger airbag actually broke the windscreen and quite often they do break the windscreens. So Chris is going to pull this one in and actually start doing a bit of work on the edge of that front seal because it has been squashed back where that wheel took a bit of a wallop and knocked it back. Also, the alley wheel that come off of this one, I actually took it over. I've had it refurbished and had a brand new tyre fitted on that so we can go ahead and get that fitted as well. We're going to be reusing this front bumper and I think actually all of this is small repairs. All of this here will actually wipe off and although I'm popping out to have a look at a car Chris will probably wipe that off with a bit of panel wipe and you'll be shocked at how well that does come up so let's get it in a workshop and make a start on it So I popped out there for a couple of hours to pick up a car, guys, and Chris has cracked on with it. Got it all stripped out, and we have actually now found every part for this car, and they are coming in. The airbags arrived today while I'm out. Yep. We'll uh, we'll get to them shortly. But you're, what are you going to jump onto that seal, Chris? Yeah. Seal, am I saying it right? Seal. Seal, because I don't want anyone sending me pictures of seals. Anyway, guys, let's crack straight on. What you, what's your plan there, Chris? You've got a bit of a plan. We're not going to hear you from there. So, what are you going yeah, to... I think it's quite tinny, but... You're it's... just going to get something behind it? Yeah, and... yeah, yeah, and see, see how it goes. Persuade really. it out? Yeah, slide, slide hammer. Slide hammer. Et cetera, et cetera. Let's do it. We actually just got really, really lucky there, guys. Chris was stripping that front end down and I was out and he rung me and said, the front crash bar is actually broke. So you see that, that piece coming off of it? Well, that side is actually snapped off and it's still connected to this lower piece and that's all bent up and broken as well. But I've just rung the guy that we're buying all of the bits off. He's actually delivering them in himself, like hand delivering, because it's a wing. I said, we don't want it like damaged and he didn't really want to send it. So we sort of worked out a deal and he's bringing it all down in his van. So luckily he hadn't left and I've managed to order one of those with that crash bar as well. But such a shame because there's nothing wrong with that crash bar bar that one bracket is broken off of it, but it's ruined it. So yeah, hope anyway, he's on his way and he's going to be here in the next sort of hour. So then we can get all that fitted back on.
fast as that guy delivered those bits, I didn't even get chance to do another cutting. He's on it. He's like, we got it here, Rob. We got the bits. It's on the ramp. Let's get well, it done. Well, fairness, I needed the wing on to make sure that bit of seal I was straightening. I got it. Was. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so so you're, you're pretty much done with that, but you do need to open the door or something. You, you need it back yeah. on the floor? Yeah. Uh, just a little bit of... Little tiny tap here. Tuning, yeah. But guys, he saved that seal. You've got it all out, Chris, haven't you? Yeah, it's all covered, but we're still going to... Yeah, I mean, and, we've uh, seen it before. People would cover that yeah, up. Yeah. We've got a side skirt that goes all the way along there, but Chris has saved that, so that saves lobbing a bit out and sticking a new bit in there. Yeah. The wings on there. This car won't hurt anyway. We said that from day dot, didn't we? Yeah. I can see we've got a plug to repair there. Yeah. But the new fog lights arrived. So we've got fog light, wing... Side skirt, wheel arch trim, wheel arch liner, and I crash think bar. crash bar, under tray. under tray, and the side skirt. Yeah. And we got all of that off one guy, and I think he was reasonable, yeah. especially with the delivery as well. Yeah. Chris, we can't see your panel gaps because it's up in the air, but you do want to crack on and just move on and get this one because we, we've been pushing it, haven't we? Yeah, we've got the drive shaft. We have got a uh, brand new drive shaft there for it. Room, put the drive shaft, uh, brake hose, drop link. And it's all running and driving, isn't it? The brake hose, mate, they didn't have in stock. I've got to pick that up in the morning. Right, okay. But, I mean, you can get the drive shaft in there, get the drop link on, and I'll pick that up in the morning. But we could not find one of these wings anywhere on the internet, could we? I normally do the parts looking, but even Chris said, are you sure? And he had a look online as well. We, we nearly bought a brand new one. Now, I spoke to some friends of ours, Sheppy Selvage, who actually repair a few cars. And I said, have you got a wing? And he said, Matt there, he said, I haven't, Rob. And whatever you do, don't buy a pattern one because they're not a very good fit for these cars. So we was either going to buy a genuine one, but luckily, you know, this guy had that one wing and all those other bits. So let's let Chris carry on fitting that drive shaft. New drive shaft is in there, guys, and new drop link is on there as well. Chris is just filling up the, the pump there with gearbox oil. It's going to refill the gearbox because the whole cup had pulled out of this gearbox. Normally, they, well, they we had half of the drive shaft and the cup was actually in this one. And do you remember me mentioning, Chris, when I loaded it at Copart, I see a cup on the floor and I thought, oh, that's not for this car, and then just drove off. So. No retaining clip on the inner cup, so it just pulls straight yeah, out. So without the rest of the shaft to hold it in, it just pulls out. Yeah, so basically it has to have, this has to have the whole shaft in there in order to keep that in there. So Chris, uh, before he actually put that shaft in, he inspected the seal and there wasn't a mark on that, Chris, was there? No, we're also drying the remaining oil. So he's taken all the old oil out of it and uh, actually put that on there. Guys, I know quite a lot of you are going to say, when are you going to get Chris on mic? I keep seeing that comment over and over again, and I do keep replying to them. We have actually got some microphones on their way, and it's going to be a bit of a process of trial and error of me and Chris actually setting those up and trying them for the first time. So just bear with us. We've done all right for three years. It's not going to be long. We did try once, didn't we? We corrupted the video. It did badly, and that was something that I ordered off of eBay, so yeah. probably half my fault. Yeah. It was a wide microphone, but when it had the muffler on it, it sounded like me and you was in a fish tank. And we lost the whole video. We did it? lose the whole video, so we're going to be getting on that very, very soon. Just bear with us. We're far from professionals at no. this recording. You can see in a reflection, we're using an iPhone, so let's get the oil in it and uh, going to get this on its wheels. Yeah, and give it a little drive, hopefully. Definitely. Let's try it. I'll just pop down to Kent Auto Selvage there, guys. Got a brand new second-hand battery for it. And 
firing the hole, Chris. See if it starts. It might need a little bit of a charge. All right, just caught then, didn't it? Once that charges up, and that's a 70 amp hour stop start battery. Just out of curiosity, Chris, do you want to try the lights? The headlights. I don't know if we put all bulbs in them, have we? Oh, we're not plugged them in, of course, no. It's under its own steam. That's nice to see, guys, isn't it? It's driving out. That wheel looks perfect. Chris, you can have a little go up down the yard. So only in the last video, guys, we won this car down at Copart very, very cheap. And of course, it arrived on the back of the truck with one wheel knocked off it, the suspension in the boot, no keys. So we had no idea on the mileage or anything like that. Chris is just testing the brakes there. Something on the back wheel. There's a lot of broken plastic. You know that, like... There's like a plastic clip that goes under the axle. It's going to be a piece of plastic catching. I can actually hear it as he goes past there. That's exactly what it is. But we've just pulled it out in the yard, really, to test. Test the brakes, test that it all starts, runs, drives, exactly how it should do. But I think I've, I've said it a couple of times. Yeah, you can hear something on that back wheel. It's going to be that plastic tray. Um, yeah, we had no idea, but obviously it was driving okay when it crashed. But it's actually turning out to be quite a nice, easy and cheap repair, this one. The worst of the damage being on that sill. Does it? Um, guys, obviously no mic there. Chris said gearbox seems fine. And the brakes work pretty good too. Oh, uh, does it? Just a reminder, I think I did just say it, 15,000 miles, but me and Chris bought this not knowing. So we didn't know until we got a key, did we? Should we give it a bit of a wipe down, Chris? Get all this glue off of it from the crash wrap and actually see what other paintwork it's going to need, if any. We know that, well, we're thinking that we're going to get away with front wing and a front bumper, aren't we? But and the, the sill, but obviously there is a lot of like residue of crash wrap and glue all over this car. So yeah, let's get it down, mate. Give it a nice wipe over, I think, and see how we get on. That's not gonna work, it's gone off. Oh, you got it round, yeah? Yeah, just stopping the alarm going. Engine management light on there. Spanner light on. Yeah. We'll have a little plug in uh, as well, shall we? A little play with it, see yeah. how we get on. Over half a tank. Over half a tank, you like it. I'm going to say it again, guys. I really do feel like we got lucky with this one. Just a quick wash there. I used the Jenny Chem Cherry Snow Foam. And I'm just going to go over it with the Jenny Chem Pink. Um, just quick wax. Spray it on. Wipe it off with a microfiber towel. But I think the only bits of paintwork this car is going to need is that front bumper, the wing. Apart from that, it does look all good. I'll plug the scanner in, guys. It's just in the little fuse box there. You see the little OBD. I've chucked it in and I'm just going to do a complete scan. I said to Chris, the light that's on the spanner light is probably to do with airbags, most likely, but the engine management light, I'm not sure that that would be to do with the airbag. So I said, we'll just do a quick scan anyway before we carry on because if we need to order any other parts for it, we get them ordered, but I'm not going to make you wait. So 25%, we'll wait till it's completely finished. All finished, guys. Built-in system interface, six volts, ABS, ESP, five volts. Don't forget, we've put a new um, ABS sensor and brake pipe on it, so that will clear 
airbag pretensioners. Now, I said this on the Audi Q2, didn't I? I had 22 faults. This has got 10. And the only things that have gone off is both front seat belts, passenger airbag, and driver's airbag. So that will be the crash sensors themselves or the... I don't know if the actual seat belts go off on these, the other part of the seat belt. So power steering, three faults, multifunction, video camera, four faults, touchscreen, two faults, service module, independent, telematrics unit. Let's just try and clear a couple, see how we get on. Trouble codes. And then... Backup supply fault, battery flat. Ah, so that will clear unless it's, uh, sorry, the little backup battery is dead in the car. I didn't realise it had one in it, actually. So when you go to escape now and you go back, it will automatically search to see if it's cleared that fault. And it has. So I'm going to go through and just, just check through all of the other fault. Did it clear it? touch screen let's just stay rolling and do this one the thing is i don't want to do a complete code clear because i don't want to clear the airbag faults not until it's got the new airbags fitted because you have got to be careful it's got two curtain airbags still in it ecu for multi-function touch screen voltage out of range voltage low we can erase those again can't we because the battery on this was toast chris charged it up erase codes i don't think they're going to go Yes. Right, escape. Escape. Reading codes. They've gone. So yeah, I'm just going to go through and then we'll have a look after. All of those faults all said the same thing, guys. Voltage. So you'll see, it. I just did a little time lapse there of it actually doing a whole, I backed out of it and completely started it. It's at 100% and it's got four faults in built-in system interface and obviously the airbag faults. But this built-in system interface, I think it's probably all related. It's not had a battery on it for a while. The steering wheel airbag's gone off. It says horn fault in there. Let's have a quick look. Just leave it with you so that you've all seen it. So we've got horn fault, circuit open to short to positive. That's going to be the squib, isn't it, because of the crash. Collision risk alert, function fault and impact detected. Automatic braking at the risk of collision, malfunction, signal invalid and error information lost. So these are all codes that we will get to after we've done the airbag kit in it. I don't think we're going to have to buy any other parts for it, but I'll put a link for the Autel in the description down below invaluable as we keep saying we are really really happy with how that come out guys and i know quite a lot of you are going to say in the comments we want longer videos but honestly i blinked and chris had actually repaired this one you can probably hear him in the background actually he's on copart just looking at a few cars we got in the watch list going through and uh hopefully have you bid on anything yet chris no there's a couple of possibilities yeah we're not going to say what they are Couple of nice bits, though. Uh, nothing nothing overexciting. Right, okay. Well, no that... Ferraris or Lamborghinis. No Ferraris or Lamborghinis. Well, that's not going to excite anyone much. So the little Citroen C3. Guys, don't, whatever you do as well, washing a black car in direct sunlight is a big no-no. But we did want to get it cleaned. We're not worried about how perfect it looks. We wanted to get everything off of it. And obviously, all of the muck. And also any silicons that are on it you don't want any kind of silicons on it when it's going to have a bit of paint work so everything i just used there was silicon free and i decided against the quick detailer because there is a possibility that that has got a bit of silicone in it so front wing needs painting seal um the wing's probably going to be blended into the door isn't it and that bit on the front bumper again i should think they're probably only going to paint that corner and then blow it into the rest of the bumper. I don't know, I'm not the painter, but well, it's just the paintwork to do and the airbag kit. Do you think, shall I do the airbag? I'll probably do the airbag kit before it goes to paint, Chris, because it's in a queue anyway, isn't it? Yeah, might as well. And that's after the Fiesta. So 
Yeah, we'll probably do the airbag kit in it next. We have got the airbag kit, that's arrived. We've got that in the shed, all put away nicely. So yeah, really, really happy. I'll pop out to pick another car up and it just cracks on with getting it done. Brilliant bit of panel beat in there. Got that almost bang on, so it's gonna need the tiniest amount of filler in it. And in the next video, I suppose Chris will probably do the bit of body work, get it 100% ready and I'll do the airbag kit and that can go off to paint and that'll be that one done. It's been really nice lately. I mean, we've bought a few cars in and everyone said, oh, you've already got too many projects to get on with, but genuinely we haven't. And they've all been, they've all turned out really, really nice, Chris. Wouldn't you agree? Yep. Like the Q2, everything just fell into place for that car. For this one, it took a while to locate all of the bits in one location. But in the end, it fell into place and it just happened. So we couldn't be happier. Sorry, guys, I know it's going to be a bit crooked and that's going to annoy you all. So that is going to be the end of today's video on the little, I nearly said Q2 there, little Citroen C3. Don't forget, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Follow us on Instagram for the little sneak peeks throughout the day at Salvage Rebuilds. And we'll see you very, very soon in the next one.